today's devotion comes from the book, I Am, 40 Reasons to Trust God. The name of God we will be looking at today is Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there. God is with us everywhere we go. Today's title is Jacob's Journey. Ezekiel 48, 35. The name of the city will be The Lord is There. Ezekiel 48, 35. Jacob looked around. Was that a noise of a wild animal? No, it was only Jacob's footsteps on the dry ground. Jacob didn't see any wild animals. No people either. He hadn't seen anyone else all day. Jacob's father Isaac, the son of Abraham, had sent Jacob on this journey. It's time for you to get married, Isaac said. Go visit your uncle Laban and marry one of his daughters. But Uncle Laban lived so far away. Jacob had been walking all day, and he still had a long way to go. And now the sun was setting. Jacob yawned. This looks like a place I can sleep, he said. And here is a big flat stone I can use for a pillow. Lying by himself on the ground in the dark, Jacob might have felt all alone. But God knew where Jacob was. And that night, while Jacob slept, God appeared to him in a dream. In this dream, Jacob saw a tall ladder. The bottom of the ladder rested on the earth, and the top reached all the way to heaven. Angels went up and down the ladder, and God stood at the top and talked to Jacob. I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather Abraham and your father Isaac, God said. The promises I made to them, I am making now to you. The land where you are lying will belong to you and your family. Your family will be big, too many to be counted, and everyone in the whole world will be blessed through you and your family. God had been with Jacob on this journey all the time, even though Jacob hadn't known it. I am always with you, God said. I will take care of you everywhere you go, and someday I will bring you back to this land. I will do what I have promised. What a wonderful dream God gave to Jacob. And when the dream ended, Jacob woke up. God is right here with me in this place, he said. And he has been with me all along. Have you ever been camping? What did you do when night came and it was dark? Did you shine a flashlight all around? Or maybe snuggle up to your parents around a campfire? How did you feel? All alone on his journey, Jacob might have felt lonely or afraid when he lay down to go to sleep under the stars. But he learned that God knew where he was and was right there with him. Later in the Bible, the prophet Ezekiel wrote about a heavenly city where God will live with his people. The name of the city will be, The Lord is There, Ezekiel 48, 35. The name of that city tells us something about God. It means God lives with us, his people. He makes his home with us in our lives, in our families, in the church. He wants to be with us. No matter where you are or how you feel, or whether it is day or night, the Lord is there, always knows where you are. And he is right there with you. Dear God, wherever I am and however I feel, I know you are always with me. And that makes me glad. Amen. When the prophet Jonah tried to run away from God, He found out God was with him everywhere. 
even in the belly of a big fish. You can read more about that in Jonah chapter 1 and 2. Well, what happened next? Jacob married and had 12 sons, but the brothers didn't always get along very well. 